Presented by Caltech. Seminar Day is a quintessential Caltech experience, and it's really a great pleasure to be sharing it with close friends and alums and those of you who know and value Caltech so much. Uh, Caltech's Distinguished Alumni Award is the highest honor the Institute bestows upon a graduate. It is awarded to Caltech alumni in recognition of achievements of noteworthy value and careers of distinctive accomplishments. The Institute's most profound influence on the world comes through its alumni across all sectors of society. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the Distinguished Alumni Awards, and today we celebrate six honorees whose accomplishments highlight the diverse impact Caltech alumni have on academia, industry, and public service. I have the honor of presenting the awardees in alphabetical order. We start with Eric Betzik, a group leader at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute's Genelia Research Campus, who has pioneered new optical imaging technologies for biology. Pushing the boundaries of optical resolution, Dr. Betzik has made possible real-time observations of cellular structures well beyond the long-standing diffraction limit for visible light. For this revolutionary accomplishment, he shared the 2014 Nobel Prize for Chemistry. After graduating from Caltech with a bachelor's degree in physics, he completed his education at Cornell University and became a principal investigator at Bell Labs in Murray Hill, New Jersey. There, he refined the near-field optical microscope and became the first to image single fluorescent molecules under ambient conditions and determine their positions to better than 1 40th of the wavelength of light. Despite these accomplishments, Dr. Betzik became frustrated with the near field microscope's physical limitations and left research. Following time raising children and then working at his father's company, he hit upon the solution to making the microscope work, a super-resolved fluorescence microscopy technique. With the help of a former Bell Labs colleague, Harold Hess, he privately built the microscope and observed cellular structures at the nanoscale using optical microscopy. In true Caltech fashion of never resting on laurels and always asking what can come next, Dr. Betzik reported a new imaging technique within months of receiving the Nobel Prize. This new technology enables researchers to observe how cells truly divide and grow, allowing a deeper understanding of cancerous cell growth or the development of embryos. In closing his Nobel lecture, Dr. Bedzik had this to say, people are always exhorted to take risks, and that's fine, but it's not a risk unless you fail most of the time. To all of the unknown people out there who have gambled their fortunes, their careers, and their reputations to take a risk, but in the end failed, remember that the struggle is its own reward, and the satisfaction that you knew that you gave everything you had to make the world a better place. It is an honor to present the Distinguished Alumni Award to Dr. Eric Betzik. Well, I'm both uh, deeply honored and grateful to be selected as a, a distinguished alum. In fact, to be honest, I'm grateful to be an alum at all. In my case, in my case it was a pretty darn close thing. Um, uh, Caltech was just about the end of me. Um, literally, in, in my junior year, AMA 95 was the death of me. And uh, uh, <laughs> I... I actually had to take that trimester off, so uh, so I got through I got through Caltech by the skin of my teeth. 
Um, but um, it was, a, in, in, again, the struggle is the reward, right? And so I look back very fondly on it. Uh, I'm amazed at not just the, the breadth of education I got at Caltech, but the depth as well. Um, but for me, I, one thing I have to signal out is, is the Summer Undergraduate Research Fellowship Program, which was just starting when I got to Caltech. And I went in like many people saying, I'm going to be a theoretical astrophysicist and I'm going to win six Nobel Prizes and da-da-da-da-da. And by the time junior year came around, I'm starting to take upper level physics courses, I realized, damn, this is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> and, you know, maybe I'm not good enough to do that. But, but for me, I started to do experimental work over the summers, thanks to SURF with Gary Brown in, in Galsit doing fluid mechanics. And I fell in love. I really fell in love with the lab. I fell in love with the detective work that goes into figuring out things in the lab. And to, I, I fell in love with the idea of making a clean experiment and getting clean data. And there's no satisfaction greater than that. And that all started, again, through that SURF program, coupled with the theoretical knowledge that I got through all of my classes. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's hard to know exactly what the impact of, of anybody's uh, education is, but I work for an institute now that's only 10 years old, and um, we keep trying to ask ourselves, well, how are we going to say whether it was worth the billion dollars that have been invested in this institute to, to do this? And we say, you have to use the deletion test. How would the scientific landscape change if our institution didn't exist? Well, I know now 30-odd years past my Caltech education, I can do that deletion test and know that much of my success and really much of my happiness in life, which is more important, can really be attributed to the education I got at Caltech. And I'm very grateful. Thank you very much.